Hey everybody, I'm going to do another change to my case and this is pretty much uh, one of the things that bothers me a lot when when I look at uh, look at this is just the cables right here um, this is the uh, stormtrooper that I have first thing and um, yeah all these cables right here uh, the cable management for this uh, you know, I just don't like the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of holes here. I have some grommets that I'm going to install, and it should look a little better than than what you see right there with all the cables. Now you have a grommet here for the stormtrooper, and but it still sticks out. You you guys can see all these cables just coming out through there. Uh, the grommets that I'm going to install are from Corsairs. You could go to their website. You could also go to Cooler Master. They have them too. And this is what uh, this is what I'm going to put in there. Uh, I'm going to use a Dremel to cut the holes. Uh, I don't know if I should do just one or two. I'll probably end up doing just a two. Uh, that way, I could uh, route the uh, audio cable and a couple of USB cables on this side. And over here you have the uh, control to the motherboard from the case and another USB. And so that that way it'll look a little nicer uh, coming from here instead of coming from way bottom, you know, from these holes over here that I was using. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, install these cables that I got from uh, from Foreman's PC. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm right here. These right here, individual cables, three pins. And the reason why is this fan controller that I installed. Uh, I had this one cable here. Let me pull this out. That controls four fan at uh, four fans at a time. And the thing is that it doesn't uh, it doesn't go well with the fan controller because it only gives you. Uh, right here it uh, has um, for one of these you have fan uh, speed now if I put four fans on one of these it's just gonna give you um, uh, one one amount I mean the, the speed to just one fan and and the same thing with the um, temperatures um, you have to have them have them individually um, Let's say these are going to be the two top fans, and these are going to be uh, the uh, one in the back. That way, I can monitor the speeds and control them, obviously. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do uh, is the temperature sensors. Um, I got this from also from Performance PC. It's a thermal tape, and uh, these cables here to monitor the uh see if you get a shot of this to uh monitor the temps from the fan controller i i didn't have any thermal tape so for me to stick this and you know and have it operate you you need i guess you need the thermal tape that tells you right there on the instructions so that's what i got and what i'm going to install so what else uh yeah uh I'll, See if I could um, show you how I do it with the Dremel. Obviously, I got to take all this stuff apart again. <laughs> I, I just keep doing this over and over again, but I, you know, I can't help myself sometimes. Um, and so I got to, you know, obviously take everything apart again. Um, all right, uh, stand by.
Okay, this is uh, the uh, two 120mm fans that I installed, the Corsair uh, Silent Edition with uh, LEDs and right over there I have the 140mm, also a Silent Edition uh, Corsair fan and that's the mod that I did with the grommet. The, uh, New for cable management for the uh, USB and the uh, case control for the motherboard. So everything uh, works great. I think the only thing I kind of missed from the Roswell, the uh, LED lights uh, were a little stronger than these. Uh, I know I was going for subtle, but uh, yeah. It's it's not bad. I mean, it, you know, once you turn off the lights, uh, you know, it go, um, you can see the the light protruding for through the uh, the case window. Uh, the only thing I need to do is uh, get some red film so I could cover that XFX logo, and instead of having the white um, come out, um, you know should be uh, with that red film uh, I have more of a red uh, illumination from the bottom and uh, if that doesn't work uh, I have some co uh, red cathode lights I'll probably install on the bottom of the, of the uh, case and here we have the uh, fan controller I got it to work uh, I have the uh, CPU sensor working. Uh, the only one I couldn't get work uh, to work was the uh, the one for the video card and the reason why it was incompatible with the fan controller uh, that I have. Um, so somehow I, I don't know how I'm gonna get the uh, one for Aerocool because I don't have any extra um, uh, sensor cable so for now it's just gonna stay like this. Um, I can control the fans from here. Um, also, got to set the uh, some of these settings here. I haven't done yet. The only one that I did do was the uh, one for the uh, CPU. And this is the uh, the one for the pump. It also controls. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody else has ever done this before. Uh, yes, this is the uh, pump controller. I connected the cable from here to the fan controller, and I can control. I um, I haven't uh, set it yet, but you can control the um, the pump uh, from here. So, yeah. All right, guys. So. Uh, any other changes, I'll go ahead and post them on YouTube. I, if you like this, uh, please uh, th give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.